Hello guys, uh, so welcome to my channel. This is Crypto Lemon speaking. Today we're gonna uh, look at, at the way to create an Ethereum wallet uh, through MetaMask, uh, um, a no KYC Ethereum wallet and anonymous wallet in case you wanna uh, either farm, play some dApps, play some games, join some social networks without having your ID linked to this uh, public Ethereum address. And uh, I think one of the easiest way is uh, is to use uh, the MetaMask as well. First of all, you need to go to MetaMask.io to click on download now uh, the wallet, and then they will uh, show you different options uh, for Brave, for example, for iOS, Android, or Google Chrome if you are using uh, Google Chrome. So I already installed it, even if I never used it in the Brave uh, browser. So let's get to the the next step. The next step is you will click on the the little icon over there once you will have added to the extensions you click on get started you'll say no i actually do not have a wallet so yeah let's get set up create a wallet they will they're asking you that they you can always opt out of some uh, metamask settings if you want to go full kyc I, I never like to to agree to these things so you can just say no thanks make um, a password so i'm making one right now I have read and agree to the term of use. You click on create. They, they have this little video to show you how to secure your wallet. And uh, before you get started, it's really useful if you do not know uh, what the seed phrase is, what the private key is, and all these kind of things. I'll just pass it, but you, you should you should definitely listen to it if you if you're new to the space. Secret backup phrase, phrase. So you will uh, click here to reveal secret words. I'm gonna do it now. So I have my list of words that I'm uh, gonna actually uh, save somewhere in order to uh, be able to um, get my wallet back if I ever forget uh, my uh, password or if I want to change it or if somebody's trying to hack me or this kind of thing. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll come back just after. Once you have saved this uh, secret phrase somewhere uh, in uh, usually the best ways on paper, but you, most people do it, uh, save it on their computer or on, on their hardware, uh, you will be asked to put back all the different words in the group order. So I'm just gonna show you two of these, for example, you just click on one and make them in the good order to go to the next step. Once you pass the test, they do ask you uh, to save the backup. They just sum up everything we've ever said, and you can click on all done. Okay, Chrome user swapping a mobile is here, blah, blah, blah. So this is it. Uh, this is uh, your own wallet with your own address, public address over there. You can click on the brother uh, icon and add in, add on, sorry. Uh, to see your assets, obviously there's nothing there, so you, you might need to transfer it from uh, another source of fund. And once this is done, you can just uh, just use it for anything you have to do on the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, as we'll see in uh, future videos, I'll show you also how you can uh, link this MetaMask uh, wallet and address to other chains such as Polygon, uh, Binance Smart Chain, uh, or a bunch of other ones. So this will be for another video. Also, so we don't see the private key right now. Like it's, it's locked by your uh, password or your uh, secret recovery uh, phrase. So if you will want to know exactly your private key for whatever reason, if you need to put it in another DAP or this kind of things, first of all, be really careful with it as a, basically this is a way to move your funds around. So if somebody gets it, they can just move their funds and you will lose them. So if you want to know your private key, you click, uh, actually, you click here. You click on your account. Uh, no, this is here. Account one that you can rename actually if you if you like to. Uh, you can uh, go onto account details, and there is something called export private key. If you put your password, it will show you the private key that you can copy paste uh, anywhere you would like. So this is all. This is quite easy, as you can see. And uh, if, if you have uh, some money, uh, you can just transfer it and use it uh, as a no KYC address. 
this is all for today i hope you enjoy it and if you if you like this kind of little tutorials i'll do more in the future so please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel talk to you later guys bye bye